Welcome to the SCICA product webinar series. We are pleased to have Jody Proffitt of Ardex Americas with us today. Jody is the product category manager for Ardex Americas. In his role, he oversees the long-term strategy and development of Ardex finished surfaces, which includes polishable toppings, decorative toppings, and sealers. Jody, the floor is yours. Great, thank you, Beth. So thank you all for joining us today. Uh, I am Jody Proudfit, as uh, she said. I'm here in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania today, and I wanna thank everybody for joining us. I see a couple of, of names that are familiar to me uh, here in today's seminar, so I appreciate you all joining us. I'm gonna take you through an overview of uh, Ardex Surfaces, which is our strategy around polished toppings and uh, decorative surfaces. So, when we talk about polished floors, uh, we talk about the changes that we've seen in the marketplace. Uh, polished floors are uh, mechanically grind, uh, mechanically ground floors. We're seeing them pop up in new offices, schools, downtown lofts, warehouses, uh, specifically in retail, restaurants, and showrooms. Uh, it's been a trend over the last few years to uh, create these hard surfaces as the finished floor, and we're really seeing a, an uptake in it. Um, and why so much interest? Because of the durability, the ease of maintenance. Uh, there, in most cases, there's no harsh chemicals to achieve the, the beautiful floor. Uh, it has longevity. It's energy efficient, cost effective, uh, and aesthetically appealing. But what if the floor isn't awesome? Uh, when you when you grind it down, a lot of times we're seeing uh, renovations. We're seeing uh, new businesses come into old spaces, and that has some inherent challenges. Uh, the floor may have uh, old work done in it, may have uh, to some character, but to others flaws. Uh, so a lot of times we see things like shadowing from old tile. Uh, slab may have cured uh, differently in in certain areas. Uh, there were a ton of repairs made because they are not the first ones to occupy this space. Uh, it may have crazed. The color may be inconsistent. Um, there may be excessive micro cracking. And, you know, that in lies the challenge. So here's a beautiful gallery space that has a ton of patches done in it. Um, and for some, that may be exactly what they want. For others, it may present sort of a challenge. And you can see some other examples here of challenges uh, with some shadow boxing, uh, some trenching that was done, uh, extensive trenching, <laughs> more shadowing, uh, some aggregate being inconsistent, uh, some staining uh, that was done in this particular fa uh, facility. So that's where Ardex Surfaces comes in. And the first question we get is, what is Ardex Surfaces? Or why, you know, why choose Ardex Surfaces? So at Ardex, we've created uh, polymer modified uh, cementitious material that can be placed over the top of old uh, concrete or substrates that can be uh, polished and burnished to provide a great shine. Uh, what we create are suitable for commercial spaces, residential applications, and, and uh, light industrial use. These, um, uh, with Ardex products, uh, they are self, we have exclusive self-drying technology uh, to help projects install fast, and those are our PCT and, and uh, SDT products, uh, which we'll talk a little bit more uh, in a few minutes. Uh, Ardex services uh, can be installed over uh, properly prepared substrates to provide a consistent and smooth flat floor. Uh, a great advantage with the self-leveling floor or self-leveling toppings is that uh, we can restore that floor to flat. We can take out any gouging, any old scars uh, that a concrete floor may have in it. Um, and for Ardex, we have a range of toppings uh, that provide turnkey uh, from turnkey pour and seal all the way through decorative or uh, artistic flooring surfaces. So today we're going to review a couple of our different options. For Ardex, we started to uh, create our product map that says we have pour and seal with our K5301, which is our exterior level uh, material, as well as our K520, which is uh, for interior use. It's a light aggregate um, and can be polished or just poured and sealed. Uh, 
Um, then we have our polished and poured, our poured and polished products, which are our Arnex K520, uh, K521, and the brand new K523. Then we have premium toppings, which are polymer modified uh, with self-drying technology, and that is Ardex PCT and SDT. And then we also have our travel microtopping, which is Ardex SDM. From a pour and seal perspective, uh, we'll just talk a little bit about uh, the products themselves. So K520 uh, uh, is a product that is developed for interior use. Uh, it's walkable in two to three hours and can be sealed in as little as 24 hours. Uh, the polish time on this product can also be polished and that can be polished within 24 hours as well. And again, it's only uh, for use interior. Um, you know, this particular product is um, great in light industrial applications where you want a smooth, consistent floor all the way through your facility, um, where you just want a, a strong surface that can be sealed. Uh, for Ardex K301, this is our exterior topping, um, and you can see here an application where it was uh, applied to a um, motel exterior hallway. But this also is walkable in uh, two to three hours. It's three freeze-thaw resistant uh, for exterior use and is suitable in wet areas. Um, so another great option when you want to go exterior. Our pour and polish section is something that um, uh, is gaining traction within Ardex and is something that we're seeing installed more and more in residential and um, uh, retail and office spaces. So we have three key products here, and the first is uh, Ardex K520, and it features a fine, ag a fine sand aggregate. Uh, with this product, when you do polish it open, what you see is is a very fine reveal. Uh, it's very consistent in its appeal across the across the floor, uh, and it provides a, a very nice surface uh, for the install. Uh, K521 provides a uh, adds a white aggregate into this mix, and um, can be uh, mixed in two to three. Um, I'm sorry, the mix contains a white stone that's two to three millimeters in size. And so when that is ground open, you'll see the white specks uh, throughout. K523, which is a new product to Ardex, features a salt and pepper blend of dark and light aggregates. Um, and that's a mix of two to three millimeter stones as well. Uh, with that product, uh, we've actually uh, gone with a dual water ratio to allow it to have uh, a high flow or a lower flow, depending on uh, how thick you need to pour and how you want your aggregate to reveal. Uh, at the lower water ratio, we find the aggregate stays higher to the top and provides um, much easier access to that aggregate when polishing. Um, this, uh, this product has uh, really taken off for us with its uh, almost terrazzo look and feel uh, when done at the lower water ratio. Our premium toppings uh, consist of uh, the Ardex PCT and SDT line. For uh, Ardex PCT, it's a, it's a much finer aggregate, uh, but it's an extremely strong product at 6,100 PSI at 28 days. For this particular product, it's walkable in two to three hours. It's polishable in 16 to 24 hours, and it's available in light gray, gray, and white, which, mean, which makes it excellent for receiving color um, in, uh, for uh, certain applications. Um, that is, uh, a PCT is a polishable product, and SDT, very similar in nature, um, is meant to be uh, sanded or just poured and polished. Uh, again, it is uh, self-drying, 6,100 PSI at 28 days, and you can seal this product in two to three hours, and it's available in gray and white, and um, is excellent for receiving color in the white format. Our microtopping is, is our travel microtopping SDM. Uh, so this is a, also a tentable product. It's walkable in uh, two hours and can be sealed. Um, we recommend if it's waterborne that it's about 20 mils in a, um, at about two hours a time. Um, and 
you can do high build polymer coating over the top of that in three to five days. So our Arctic surfaces range really is made up of uh, the core products of PCT, SDT, SDM, K520, K521, K523, and our um, uh, exterior topping of K301. So when you think about Arctic surfaces, think about the idea of the product plus the process equals predictable results. Uh, for Ardex, it's one source. Uh, Ardex toppings and repair are lithium-based densifiers and PC, and PC finish. Uh, uh, process specifications, uh, and we help with uh, help you guys understand or work with the tools that you have, because we do work with a number of different tools. Um, but that also provides an excellent part of, uh, excellent outcome uh, for your product. Uh, we have nationwide distribution network, uh, installation contractor uh, network, and uh, specifications and job site support. And uh, with with our team here, we've we have uh, Craig Morris, who is our business development manager, who is available for job starts and job site recommendations to help in the process. So I know I covered a lot in a very short period of time. So with that, Lizzie, I think I would open the floor to questions, comments. Sure. Okay. So audience, if you have questions for Jody about Arctic surfaces or anything else Arctic related, uh, you can go ahead and click on the Q&A tab on the left side of your screen, type in your question, click submit. We'll see it come through and ask Jody. Okay, first question. Is Ardex topping same the same like a self-leveling cement? So it is. Uh, all of these toppings, with the exception of the trowelable, are uh, self-levelers. They just they are modified and specified for polishing. Okay, I think that answers that question. Okay, is K521, 523, the same strength like a monolithic terrazzo? They are not the same strength as a monolithic terrazzo. Uh, each one of them has their own strengths and values. Um, so at terrazzos, the, the aggregate's a little bit more compact. These are a little bit more spread out, so they do have a, a slightly different value. Okay. Um, next question, what are the substrate moisture limitations on the products? Um, so, with, so with these particular products, the, the slab needs to be 95% uh, or less and, de and decreasing. We recommend, the, if the moisture is a concern, the use of a moisture mitigation system underneath, this, um, underneath the polishable toppings in order to maintain that. So it needs to be to, to keep it to keep it low. Okay. Um, what type of prep is needed to install Ardex toppings? So uh, we need to achieve a proper CSP to receive a primer. Um, in this case, we uh, our primer is EP2000 with sand. Um, you know, that sand gives you a little bit extra porosity, but you would need to. Uh, prep the surface to receive the primer, and then um, EP2000 plus your sand. You could also use, if you had moisture control, you could use uh, MC Rapid with sand um, as a suitable uh, primer for this as well. Okay. Is wet polishing an option for an Ardex surface? Unfortunately, we do not have specifications for uh, wet polishing. Uh, due to the polymer modified nature of our product, we recommend dry grinding um, over wet polishing. Okay. Um, what about the slip resistance for a polished floor? So there's there's a couple of different factors that relate to this slip resistance. Uh, one of them is the uh, ultimate finish of the 
of the polisher and then any coatings that you're putting on top of that. So uh, the, there's no definition for our slip resistance because it really comes down to where the polisher ended in its cycle and then what sort of sealer or topical coat was applied at the very end. So I would defer to the manufacturer of, of your sealer or protective coat uh, to help provide slip resistance. Um, can an Ardex topping be stained? Yes, an Ardex topping can be stained. Uh, it can have integral color added to it. Uh, the white makes an exceptional uh, receiver for color, uh, but you can also topically stain with um, into the grays. Um, what type of color can be used with an Ardex topping? Uh, there are various manufacturers for, for colors that work with our toppings. Um, we do a lot of work with Richard James. Uh, we also use our own Pandomo colors. And um, if, there, if, if anybody has a specific concern about a color, uh, I would recommend uh, communicating with our technical department, and they can tell you exactly um, or make a recommendation on uh, the color that you may be already using. Because while we do a lot of work with Richard James, we have worked also with um, different color manufacturers that have worked really well with our products. Excellent. Well, those are the questions that I have, um, and I'm currently not seeing anything new from the audience. Um, so Jody, is there anything else that you'd like to say about Ardex uh, or their services, other products? Um, what I had prepared today was mostly around our Ardex surfaces and where we're going with that. Um, I will say that um, in the next uh, few months, we will be uh, releasing a new sealer technology uh, to Ardex to complete our System 1 strategy. So be on the lookout for more information regarding um, the new Ardex sealer uh, that'll be coming to the market. Um, so I know, I think, I think, unfortunately, that's about all I have for today. Okay. <laughs> that I was prepared um, for. I am Still not seeing anything new from the audience. So I think we can go ahead and wrap up now. Um, if you do have any further questions for Jody regarding Ardex surfaces and toppings, um, you can always email those questions to me and I can pass them along to Jody. Um, or I'm sure you can call into um, Ardex's technical department and they can help you as well. So on behalf of FCICA, thank you so much, Jody, for presenting today's webinar sponsored by Ardex Americas. Thank you much so much for having us, Lizzie. It was it was a great to uh, to present every to everybody today. Yes, and this is definitely a topic that I haven't um, heard of before. I'm quite unfamiliar with flooring, um, so everything I learn is also through my webinars, um, and I had not heard about this before. So this is really cool. Um, Sims on the line. Uh, you can now navigate to the submit credit tab. Um, it is in the same area where the Q and A is. Um, and you can complete the feedback survey there to receive your credit. Now, if you don't see credit in there, you don't see the survey in there, um, that means you're not properly logged into the platform, so you just have to go back um, to the webinar launch page. You should be able to log in from the top nav, and then come back into the webinar, and that credit submission should show up. If you have any problems with that, please do not hesitate to reach out with me so I can help you get your credit. Okay. And that is all I have for today. So again, if you have anything further that you'd like to ask or comment on, um, you can always reach out to me about these webinars. Um, and I do look forward to your feedback. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a great rest of your Thursday and a good weekend. <laughs>